PeepsTools.com. G'day, 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 guys. Peter here from Peeps Tools. Awesome to see you here again today. Now, I can see you thinking there, what's that idiot doing wearing this sort of glasses here? Well, I want to know, guys, can you get welding flash from plasma cutting? Or do you need to be MIG welding or something like that to get a welding flash where it's got a great big brighter spark? Anyway, guys, I'm going to do a little experiment today and see what the difference is between the energy from this and the energy from this. And do you really need to wear glasses when you're plasma cutting? Anyway, guys, use your crap, like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and let's get into this, eh? So, guys, I don't know if you've ever tried MIG welding without having a welding helmet on, but uh, I did it years and years ago, stupid me, and I tell you what, I got welding flash, and it's the worst thing that I've ever had in my life. Anyway, guys, what I'm going to do is just show you the flash from my MIG welder. As you can see guys, that is really, 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 really bright. So now what I want to do guys, is I'll show you the same uh, welding flash, but I'll show it through you through my helmet. See the difference in the light that's coming off this torch? Um, it really blacks it out, and uh, you need this for me, obviously, because I don't know if you guys have ever had welding flash, but like I said, it really, really sucks. I've actually got a video, I'll put it uh, in the links below, of all the stuff I used to do without uh, any sort of safety gear, and welding was one of them without any goggles, and I'll tell you what, I would never do it again, but uh, yeah, things you do when you're silly. Go and have a look at that video, and it might give you a bit of a laugh as well. And your MIG emits a lot more light than what your plasma cutter does, but now I'll do one plasma cutting, and uh, we'll see how we go with that. So now we'll just do a little bit of plasma cutting, and you just see the difference in the strength of the uh, spark. See the difference, guys? It's sort of a different looking spark. But um, I always thought that you never used to have to wear glasses while you were doing plasma cutting, but boy, did I get that wrong. It's not as strong as uh, MIG welding, but by crikey, you certainly need to wear some glasses or something to protect your eyes. You don't need the stronger glasses of what you do like when you're MIG welding, but you need like a DIN 2 or something like that, just something to shield your eyes, uh, because it's really, really bad, I tell you. I've actually got a video on uh, 11 Home Remedies to uh, fix welding flash, if you want to have a look at that. I'll put that in the um, description down below, or I'll put it up the top as well. You can click on that link and have a look at that video as well. It's quite amusing, actually. Anyway guys, so what we'll do now is we'll put the uh, lens over the camera and uh, I'll show you what it looks like with the uh, auto darkening lens on. Rightio, plasma cutting, but I've got the lens on the camera as you can see. You'll see the difference in the light compared to the MIG. So did you see the difference in the light, guys? It's nowhere near as strong between MIG welding and plasma cutting, but you still need to have some eye protection. Like I said, you need some eye protection because uh, you'll live to regret it, trust me. So guys, when I'm plasma cutting, I just use glasses like this because I find that the, uh, the old welding helmets with the shade like of 8 to 13, it's really too dark for plasma cutting. So I just use the little glasses and it's, like, it's only shaded like from, from 3 to 5. But it just protects your eyes enough, and uh, you don't get the, the blowback glare, and uh, you don't get your welding flash, of course. But uh, once again, you haven't got the big bulky helmet, and you can see what you're doing. But um, if you're going to go and do some um, MIG welding or something like that, you're going to need to use your helmet, and you're going to have to have a shade like from about 8 to 13, depending on how, how many amps you're welding with. But uh, minus the 13, because I'm running... Um, 250 amp MIG welder, so I use a shade 13 for this, which is very, very dark, and I can't use it for this. This is why I, I didn't, the first time I ever plasma cut, I didn't use this at all, because I just couldn't see what the hell I was doing, but after I was uh, doing it for a couple of hours, and uh, I couldn't really open the eyes, then Pete learned his lesson. So and, guys, the uh, moral of the story is, if you're plasma cutting, just get a pair of these little cheap glasses, I mean, they're not worth anything, and they'll just save your eyeballs, save a lot of grief, eh? Anyway, I'll put some links down below if you want to buy these, but they're as cheap as chips, I think they're about 15 bucks or something stupid like that, and it just protects your eyes, and it's also not so bulky when you're trying to 
Yeah, you know, if you're trying to plasma cut and wear one of these things, they're, they're really, really bulky in that. But remember, don't use this if you're MIG welding or art welding, because if you're using the uh, three to five shades, then it's not strong enough for MIG or art welding, or I don't think it is anyway. So make sure you use one of these. Anyway, guys, that's enough crap for the day. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, and we'll see you next time, eh? And uh, don't you get that welding flash, because it really, really sucks. Peachtools.com. Peach 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 Peach